Dear Mom, things are going great down here. I knew it would be hard working with the mission to build a town in the jungle, but it's what we have to do. It stays hot and humid year round here, but I love seeing all the bugs and birds from South America. Oh, food's great, particularly because we grow it ourselves. I know you worry about me, but please don't. Love, Alex. why we named this place Freedom Town? We named it for the freedoms America promised us, but which we never really had. At last, here we are free to love our God and love ourselves as America would never let us. We only ask that you love this place as we love all of you. of socialism and justice burns with such intensity. Some let the work consume them, and they either burn brightly or blaze out of control. We keep the fire carefully in hand. We tend to it and let it illuminate what we are achieving. That makes the scorching heat of the fire worth it.
Mom, I know you've never believed in what we're doing here, but I don't blame you for being wrong. As Isaac always says, the American corporate machine is designed to make people fear any different way to live. But we live our own policy, and our policy is true equality. I may not change your mind, but I hope you believe in me and love me enough to help me with my dream. This is really hard for me to ask, but as we get this started, things are stretched thin. Supplies for myself, for all my friends here, would help so much. If you could send a wire transfer, that would help the most. When we recall the verse from Matthew about the city on the hill, I think of our town in the jungle, how we can be an example to the world. The Puritans preach that their shining example would be Boston, but 300 years later it is instead a corrupt home for fake progressives and powerful elites. A betrayal. No life at all would be better than a life of American hypocrisy. We will be true to our principles, whatever end may come. reminded us. From the start, America wanted to be a shining city on the hill, a beacon to the world. Well, America's nuclear flame is now a beacon, a beacon of fear throughout the world. You can have freedom, it shouts, as long as it's our capitalist freedom. And if you try anything else, the bombs will come. you all mean to us. But we are coming to a crisis point in Freedom Town. A time when we must decide our future. We will leave an indelible mark on history and show them how we reject their vile lies. We forge our own path out of this darkness, escaping with the providence only the Lord can grant us. And we will inspire others to realize this world is cruelty, that it is time for a final reckoning.
Here we may struggle, but we all triumph together. Jesus showed us the way to socialism. I believe in the fundamental love of his message. But in our situation, there are times we cannot follow all of his teachings. There are times when we must be the one to throw the stone to make sure people learn.
blind to the corruptions of the communist countries. None have been perfect. But this is not inherent to socialism. Not when run justly. Perhaps the help they needed could have been found in Scripture's singular message. We will make our socialism work because we go hand in hand with the Lord. I have nothing but disgust for those who twist the Bible, twist Jesus' word. His message is to embrace your fellow man, to help the weak, the poor, never to hate, unless you focus that hate to resist those who bring misery to others. you all mean to us. But we are coming to a crisis point in Freedom Town. A time when we must decide our future. We will leave an indelible mark on history and show them how we reject their vile lies. We forge our own path out of this darkness, escaping with a providence only the Lord can grant us. And we will inspire others to realize this world is cruelty, that it is time for a final reckoning. Regarding letters to the U.S., your friends and relatives never understood why you came here, did they? If they did, they would be here as well. They may even call you crazy. When they say that, ask them, who is really crazy? The people who continue to live in a racist, colonialist, capitalist, and fundamentally unjust society? Or the ones who want to try something else. The good book tells me to show hospitality to strangers. We're good people here. I trust you are too. For many of us, this is the best life we've ever known, an escape from the violence we faced in America. I come to be by the river to remember that and to thank God for what he's given us. So many back in the U.S. say something is wrong here. Do you think so? Prove it to me. Show me one piece of evidence. I'll look at it. And if it's real, I'll do something about it. This river can mean whatever you want it to mean. It is nature continuing, ignoring what we humans do. It's God's enduring persistence. It's a wave of justice destroying capitalism. Metaphors don't help people eat, but they can help me think, be inspired, get the work done. Rebecca's willing to risk what isn't hers to risk, but I'll make sure she stops or gets stopped. Isaac has so many guns in this camp. Do we really need this many? Won't the guns make us into the thing we hate? How can anyone know our truth until they visited us, lived with us? These are people who work so hard to change the world and there's nothing more soul crushing than being judged based on straight up lies. There's an America that employs the police and an America that the police keep down. I don't want no part of either. I clouded my problems with drink for years. Isaac showed me how to put that behind me. Now this fight is all I am. Oh, 
Oh, you're Alex's Ken? Sure, I'll tell you where he is. You got a map I can write on? Best I know, he's in this part of town. You ask him how he feels about Freedom Town. He wants to go, you take him with you. He can make his own choices. But those of us who want to stay for the fight to come, you leave us alone. During our crisis, we have made special arrangements for the children. They are in Cuba, at Colonia Unidad La Palma, learning about the revolution from our trusted neighbors. Out of the mouth of babes hast thou ordained strength, that thou mightest still the enemy and the avenger. When we send our strongest message, we do so knowing it will make the world better and all children will benefit. These are hard decisions, but we must make them. For God has made us his messengers. team meeting will go late tonight. We're determined to talk through some of the biggest challenges in front of us. We can't interrupt this meeting. So if you need something, find us before 7 p.m. revolutionary leaders were killed when they said no to the war machine's endless appetite. We refuse to fight for profits, and that makes us dangerous. We fight only our own fight. Our surveillance tells us they are sending forces to destroy us because they so fear what we represent. When people question how we have chosen to arm ourselves, I ask, what choice do we have? We dream of a peaceful world, of course. But as Castro said, a revolution is not a bed of roses. We arm ourselves to control our own fate. Are you a member of the mission? 
Did you just join? I came here to find a good home for my boys. I loved what my kids would learn here about justice for everyone. But this place is too... intense. Now, everywhere I look is danger. Things are coming to a head. I wish I could go get my kids and run, but they're off in Cuba. I don't even know where. I need an address, anything, before I can think of leaving to go get them. I feel most inspired when Isaac talks about how life will be good for us here in Freedom Town, if we can just hold on. But when Rebecca talks about saving the whole world, how are we ever going to do that if we have so many problems here? You want to find Alex? He's your family? Oh, he's a good kid. Let me see your map. I think this is his cabin. I'm sure he'd like to see you. Just like I want to see my boys. States is take slavery and dress it up in new clothes. They don't allow you enough food to live, a decent school to send your children, health services, not in your neighborhood. And once you are old, you're just a used up slave. They won't even do you the dignity of taking you out back and putting a bullet in your head. They suck away what money you have left, leaving you to die in a slow tragedy.
Those back in the U.S. do not even understand their own oppression. Have we abandoned these people? No. We open our arms to them. But if they do not come when they refuse to see the truth, there is only so much we can do. We cannot save them if they resist being saved. Sadly, we must distance ourselves lest they drag us all down. Vic, is that you? Mom sent you here? Really? You need to go before people see you and lose their minds. We brought hatred down here with us. Can't ever get away from what's in you. They tell us about friends dying from malaria, right? But those friends didn't die from malaria. They died from disobeying. Let me see your map. This is where Isaac and Rebecca are. Maybe you can do something. Somebody has to do something. I lost my faith in this town a while ago. Now that you're here, I know it's time for me to go. You can take me with you, right? I can't believe you came for me. I lost hope. Thanks. I don't care what you've done. I just need to get the fuck out of here. Used to say this had to be better than the U.S. Now I know there's worse things. Did you ever believe in something? I mean, really? And then have it turn out to be deceit and treachery and just fucked up? Isaac did that to me. I can't believe mom had you come all the way down here. She never understood this place, what it did for me. We fought on that. All right. I trust you, Vic. Any government that cannot face up to its own crimes and bring about restitution can never be redeemed. Kissinger may not technically be in power, but the fact that a no man's murderer still walks the whole of his hallowed institutions as not only a free man but as a respected figure shows how cancerous the whole organism of America truly is. Watch it when they tell you something's for the greater good. It's cause they think good comes from bad. No way that's true. You know, when I met Rebecca, I loved her because of how strong she was. In a society like theirs, for a woman to be that tough, I knew she was the strongest person I'd ever met. So now, sometimes we argue, and we are better for it. They told you we're crazy, right? No one understood what we were doing. land of the free. That's one of the filthiest lies there is. Propaganda working overtime. When the black man is 
just there to shine their shoes and live in their slum, fine. The government tells him he is free. But he is just as much a slave as his grandfather a hundred years ago. But when the black man knows his civil rights, when he chooses to defend his home, to fight for a decent breakfast for his children, now he is a terrorist. Now he must be put down. I just want someone I trust who gets the truth. But you trust someone, that's when they disappoint you. And who stands to stop us? <laughs> the evil few who want it all and would destroy our lives to take what little we have. Because they must have everything. They're so right. What they say is so right. But this town can get so bad. I think you know by now, I have very high standards. So does Isaac. It should surprise no one that people with high standards don't always agree on those standards. It's not always pretty, but it's inevitable. I'm glad you came for me, but these people, can you save all these people? Back in the U.S., the news is tightening. Look at the FBI's war on the Panthers. Their leadership has been blatantly assassinated by the government. If we had not left, I am certain the same would have happened to us. <laughs> 